There was a time, back in the 60s and 70s, when people believed that drugs like marijuana, LSD, and mescaline were not only harmless, but actually beneficial. They could take you on trips to alternate universes, expand your consciousness. Unfortunately, it turns out, the cost of the trip is a lot more than the price of the ticket. These drugs are called hallucinogens. They work by bending your brain so you see things that aren't there. Now if you think about this for more than a couple of seconds, you'll realize it's not a good idea. Your mind may be able to fly with purple turtles, but your body still falls like a rock. By far the most popular drug in this group is pot. You'll hear a lot of talk about how it's not addictive, perfectly safe, no more dangerous than alcohol. Now since more people die from alcohol-related causes than any other drug, safe as booze is not much of a recommendation. And as for the rest of it, it's just not true. Let's look at the facts. The actual drug in pot is an addictive substance called THC. Like tobacco, you get it into your body by sucking in the smoke from burning leaves. Now the first problem here is that along with the THC, you get about 2,000 other chemicals, many of which cause cancer. In fact, there are more cancer-causing chemicals in pot than in tobacco. Then there's the THC itself. Prolonged exposure can physically change the brain. What does that mean? Well, using a drug like pot regularly seems to make you sillier. We all laugh at stoners, but do you really want to be like one? If marijuana is the most popular hallucinogen, then LSD or acid has to be the most famous. Now the thing about acid is, the trip that it sends you on is totally unpredictable. You could spend 12 hours floating through the sky with flying turtles. Or, you could spend those 12 hours in a place so terrifying that you'll have nightmares about it for the rest of your life. There's absolutely no way of telling before that little piece of blotting paper goes into your mouth. And how about this? You might not have to wait for the nightmares to start. About half the people who drop acid have flashbacks for weeks or even months after their trip. When hallucinations won't go away, that's called psychosis. Another word for, you guessed it, brain damage. Now that's something to look forward to, huh? If you party, you've heard of ecstasy. Users will tell you it's the friendship drug. Makes you more trusting, more open, more calm, more serene. What they don't tell you about is the puking, the blurry vision, the paranoia, or the cardiac arrest. And that's if what you bought is ecstasy. How do you know? It's not like you can do a check on your pusher at the Better Business Bureau. At the absolute bottom of this list is PCP, also known as angel dust. Now trips on this stuff can be so bizarre and so violent that long time drug addicts won't even touch it. So if someone offers you one of these drugs and then disses you for being afraid when you hesitate, think hard about what this person is trying to do to you. Then walk away before you do something you regret.